At 5 p.m., public market turned off their open sign and locked their doors for the last time. The Main Street staple will be missed by all of those who've walked through their doors over the last 106 years. It's heartbreaking. It really is heartbreaking. It was great. This was my stop and shop. It's a difficult day for Middletown residents and the owners of Public Market. The Italian deli and grocery forced to close its doors after 106 years in operation. I've had people break down and start crying right here in front of me. And it, it, it's tough. It's tough because I... Some of the people come here three times a day. Joshua Morris bought Public Market two years ago after working in the store for many years. He says it was the pandemic shutdown of the catering business that crushed their bottom line. It's been a staple on Main Street for generations and generations, um, and it's hard to imagine that block um, without public market being there. Middletown Mayor Ben Florsheim says the city has done everything they can to keep the family-run businesses open on Main Street. The city has provided over 200000 in funds, but the mayor says those funds only go so far. Those who frequent the shop say they will miss the warm atmosphere and deli favorites. I like my ham grinder toasted. They they always made it the way I liked it. The pandemic has taken over 600 local restaurants and has forced well over 100 others to temporarily close. The entertainment and catering industry has taken the brunt of it. That's a sector of our industry that has been flat out def devastated. Starting March 19th, the state will increase the capacity of indoor commercial event venues to 50 percent or 100 people with outdoor capacity increasing to 200. A massive relief to an industry all but dead for the last 11 months. Still going to have to follow COVID restrictions are still going to be it's not going to be the same celebration as everyone's used to, but it's still one that that I think uh, these businesses are looking forward to to hopefully hosting here soon. The Restaurant Association says that they are thankful to the governor for his continued support to try to help reopen some of these restaurants. They say consumer confidence is improving as the vaccine continues to roll out more and more. And as for the public market, they say they will be donating any of the food that's left to support the community one last time. In Middletown, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.